Hey guys, I'm um, back again with another tutorial video on how to make geo filters. And as you can see today, I'm making one for my school football field because football season starts up soon. So basically, right now I'm just showing you guys all the layers that the vector took. I did almost all these with the pen tool in Photoshop. Um, this is not necessarily the order that I made each layer, but it's the order that they overlap each other. Yeah, so basically it definitely took a lot and making these geo filters aren't easy. And as you can see right here, a lot of the uh, layers also, I turned the opacity down so you, that you can see the layers below them poking up more. Right here, the stairs that I made for the bleachers, that I duplicated each line over 30 times and then I condensed it into a smart object and then turned the opacity down. So I made it into one layer. See, I'm just keep going. Alright, so I've showed you all the layers now. What I did is I duplicated it and turned that into a smart object, which I'm showing right now. I then added a white stroke and left it pretty thin. I then duplicated that layer again, rasterized it, and added a black stroke. And I turned the orange background on just so you guys can see the stroke. All right, so here's the black stroke I was talking about. All right, so now that I have my vector, what I'm gonna do is duplicate it, and I'm gonna start a new uh, image completely. I make it 1080 by 1920 pixels with a resolution of 300. And then, so there's the vector. And then I went and added a drop shadow, so it's easy to see when it's overlaid snapshots. Okay. Now, sorry my computer's a little bit laggy right here. So then I zoomed out and I'm going to show you guys the font and the text that I used. I just made basic Go Owls as my school's team name. And I added a white stroke and then I added a little bit of a bigger drop shadow. And here again with a background so you guys can see it easily. I think it turned out pretty well. So what you want to do is, of course for any snapshot, save for web. Make sure it's on ping 24. And you guys should be good to go and upload it to Snapchat. Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen my previous video, go and check it out. I get a little more in depth in this one. And have a good day, guys.